Roku is one of the best selling streaming devices on Amazon, but unlike Fire TV Stick, Android TV, or even the Apple TV, there's a huge shortcoming. That is that you can't install a VPN natively, which sucks. So yeah, the whole point of this video, and you've clicked on it obviously, is that there are a few workarounds to install a VPN on Roku. And no, I'm not talking about changing your DNS server to access geo-restricted content like we did before. Click on that video right over there. So let's see some of those best workarounds that we found to install a VPN on Roku, shall we? Before we begin, Roku doesn't support VPN or Smart DNS functionality, which means the only way to use a VPN on Roku is to actually install one on your router. If you're wondering if you share the VPN on your mobile hotspot, will it work? Well, it won't. Yes, there are a few other methods, like you can share a VPN connection from your Windows PC or Mac by tinkering with the command line or using apps like VPN Hotspot on Android. Or you can also buy a cheap computer like Raspberry Pi and then connect the Raspberry Pi with your VPN provider. We'll do a separate video on that, so stay tuned for that. In this video, I'll show you how to set up VPN on your router. Most routers support VPN right out of the box, but if your router doesn't support VPN functionality, you can often install a new firmware that flashes it with the DDWRT. To set up a VPN on your router, head over to your computer so that we can find out your IP address first. As you can see, I'm in India at the moment, which is why I won't be able to access HBO Now or Pandora. Next, connect to your router using the router's IP address, usually it's 192.168.1.1 or 0.1. If you're not sure what the IP address is, you can always ping your router. If you're not already running DDWRT, you need to flash it on your router. If you have already done that, you can just skip to the next step. We have a detailed video on how to set up a VPN on router, which you can check from the YouTube cards, but I'll give you a brief idea. You need to make sure a few things are in check before we install a VPN. For example, change your DNS from ISP to that of a Google. Disable IP version 6 and disable firewall as well. Doing so will make sure your VPN runs flawlessly. Next, go to services and select VPN. Set start open VPN client to enable. Keep in mind, open VPN is just a vessel to access a VPN server. You still need to buy a VPN from a VPN service. Enter VPN server address to server IP, name of your VPN provider. In this case, I'll enter details of SmartDNS proxy. You can find all of this information on your VPN provider. They generally have a page like this from where you can find the server address. Next, enter the username and password for your VPN. Save changes and reboot your router from administration and reboot your router again. After you reboot it, it should connect to the VPN automatically. Please wait for a minute so open VPN connection can be established. You can check the connection status by going to status and then open VPN tab. You should see client connected success. Now that the VPN is connected, let's check if it works. So the IP address has changed that to an American one, but what about HBO now? Well, there's an error. I'll come to that later on and Pandora works just fine. Let's see if I can access HBO now from Google. And as you can see, you can, pretty neat. Now all the devices connected to your router will be running VPN first, including your Roku. But to check it first, I'll recommend you use a smartphone to connect it to the Wi-Fi. That is, Batcave and look up your IP address. And then yeah, it works fine. To use a VPN with your Roku, we need to make sure your VPN and Roku are set to the same location. Once done, you should be able to access channels such as Hulu, Netflix, etc. on your Roku. To turn off your VPN on your Roku, you need to reset your Roku's factory settings. Similarly, if you wish to turn on VPN permanently or temporarily, you may do so by navigating back to services, VPN, and under start open VPN client section, 
set it to disable. All of your settings will be preserved and you can return to this section to turn the VPN back on at any time. There you go, that's how you get a VPN on your Roku. And we've done a video on best tips and tricks for Roku, so give that a watch as well. While you're at it, check out Smart Nearest Proxy channel if you want to make the most out of any streaming device, because we make content that's about streaming devices. We love them. We really, really love them. As always, I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm just, I'm just gonna go now. Thank you.